we're looking at the bathymetric data, same type of data that uh, we just investigated earlier. However, this uh, map has been coded to show the various types of potential marine bathing habitats that exist on the seafloor around Susha Island. And the colors actually distinguish those types of habitats. For instance, these deep colors, these deep red colors in here, represents very rough, high relief, sedimentary rocks that are differentially eroded. And they produce very, very nice habitats for such uh, fish as rockfish. And you can see this whole area down and through here, down and along through here, all the way out along in this general area are rockfish habitats. The other habitat, as I mentioned earlier, is the sand wave, which is a Pacific sand lance uh, habitat. It's well defined in the habitat maps. The blue colors that you see in here are representative of muds, and this is what you expect to find in dead end bays and sounds and what have you. The lighter colors, such as we see here, is sand and mud, a little bit coarser grain material. We see that here, and we see a pile of sand and mud sitting out over here. This material here that surrounds the, what we call a dynamic bed form or the sediment wave field is composed of sand and gravel. So this is a little bit different material than we find here and certainly is different than where the bedrock outcrops are found and which are the rockfish habitats.